Hi, this is Andy Armacost. I know you're all getting ready to start the academic year, and there's been, sure, a lot of activity recently on campus. And I wanted to strongly encourage you to read the letter that accompanies this video. It'll talk about all the steps that we're taking to get ready for your arrival uh, to campus. But what, what I wanted to do is deviate a little bit from the, the normal approach and get back into professor mode. So my background is in network optimization and looking at large-scale networks. And you can see some of the texts I have here, network optimization, graph theory, and so forth. And um, it turns out that there's a close connection between the work I've done and the world of social networks and how small networks interact with each other to have kind of a broad phenomenon. And it was captured in this book. It's called Small Worlds by Duncan Watts, uh, an old friend of mine. And, uh, and Duncan talks about uh, this phenomenon, about how the behavior within small groups can propagate through a network, and it can happen pretty quickly. And whether it's financial networks, whether it's social networks, whether it's networks of crickets around a pond, um, what Duncan had done was really show the mathematics of how this operates. And you'd be surprised to know that when we look at the campus and we just look at all the courses that our students are taking, a typical university has an average connection between two students of 2.3 steps away from each other. Let me repeat that, 2.3 steps. Regardless of how small your friend group is or your fraternity or sorority or the people you hang out with in the dormitories or the people you hang out with in your office, people that you work with, the connection that you have to others on campus is really tight. And this has been known as the Kevin Bacon effect. And you're all familiar with the Kevin Bacon game. Can you connect Kevin Bacon to other members of the Hollywood universe? The same phenomenon applies in this pandemic. The fact that you might only have a handful of friends, dozens, hundreds, I don't know, but you're connected really closely to the rest of the campus. This illustrates why it is so important that you take care of yourself and that you take care of others as well. And so all that we're asking you to do um, is to do some simple things. Keep, keep distance from others. Wear a face covering. Make sure you wash your hands frequently. And when we have the opportunity to test, take advantage of that testing opportunity to determine whether or not you're infected with the virus. And if you're infected, we're gonna ask you to isolate. We're gonna expect you to isolate and stay away from others. And even just as tricky is the idea of close contacts to infected persons. Close contacts also have to quarantine. In fact, they have to quarantine for 14 days. That's right, 14 days. Can't go to class, can't go out, um, you're stuck. And it requires patience and the support of an entire campus to make sure that you have everything that you need. And so rest assured that whether you're in isolation because you're a positive or whether you're in quarantine because you're a close contact to a positive, the university's gonna take care of you. Your friends, your faculty members, um, staff members, will take care of you. We'll make sure that you're on track. But it's very important that if you're identified as a close contact, that you pull yourself out of that network. That if you're isolated as a COVID positive uh, person, that you pull yourself out of that network and make sure that that closeness that we all have through this small network phenomenon doesn't come back to bite us. So with your help, we're gonna do this. And we've seen great evidence over the summer of organizations, groups of people who have taken the steps to, to keep themselves safe. Our aviation students have a tremendous record. They're up at 90% capacity right now, and they've had uh, very little impact of the virus. Our sports teams are, we had an initial bump uh, with infections early in the summer, but um, they've learned the, the proper uh, way to care for themselves and others. And uh, what we've seen is a radical uh, reduction in the infections and the close contacts within our sports teams. So you do the same. When you come back to campus, um, whether you're a faculty member, a staff member, or a student, make sure you take care of yourself. Abide by the principles that we're asking you to follow. And let me emphasize also, this is temporary. We'll get through this together. This will not be forever. But we need to bind together to make sure that in the near term, we're doing the things that keep us all safe. We are one UND. Let's do this.